at this time, as we move along in the program, it's uh, truly an honor to have the governor here of the great state of Arizona, Jan Brewer. Well, good afternoon, everyone, and it is absolutely an honor to be here with everyone as we celebrate this incredible partnership. The Gila in River Indian community has come to be recognized for their innovation and marketing strategies. And we are here to dedicate yet another venue to highlight the Gila River Indian community as a premier supporter of our communities, and especially of the Arizona Coyotes. <clears throat> Governor Mendoza, you have provided a completely new and exciting way to view the possibilities of tribal participation. I appreciate the invitation to be here and to celebrate the first naming rights deal by a federally recognized tribe. Congratulations to all of you and keep up the good work and win Coyotes. Thank you all so very, very much. At this time, I'll introduce the Gila River Indian Community Governor, Mr. Gregory Mendoza. Good afternoon. First of all, I want to acknowledge my members of the Gila River Indian Community that are here this afternoon. I want to thank you for making this happen. I am delighted to be here with all of you today to celebrate what marks an historic event for the Gila River Indian community. But most importantly, first, for all other American Indian tribes across this great nation, I am honored and humbled to be here with these very distinguished leaders from our great state to celebrate our new naming rights partnership with the Arizona Coyotes. First, I would like to express my deep appreciation to my dear friend, the Honorable Governor Jan Brewer. Thank you for your tireless leadership and dedication serving our community and the entire state of Arizona. Thank you, Governor Brewer. I would also like to thank a very good friend of mine, Glendale Mayor Jerry Wires. <laughs> Mayor Wires has been a long-standing friend to our community. It is good to see you and I look forward to continuing our work to address issues important to both of our communities. We are here today to announce an historic partnership between the Gila River Indian community and the Arizona Coyotes and to unveil the new Gila River Arena. Our community has had a long and successful relationship with the Arizona Coyotes for many years. I am proud to see that we have taken the next step in our relationship by entering into this naming rights partnership. The partnership is the first of its kind. No other American Indian tribe in the United States or North America has their name associated with an arena or stadium in the National Hockey League, the National Football League, the National Basketball Association, or Major League Baseball. For that, I would like to thank and congratulate Mr. Anthony LeBlanc, his ownership group, and the Arizona Coyotes for all of their efforts to bring this historic agreement to fruition and further co commencing the relationship between the Arizona Coyotes 
and our community. I would also like to thank Ms. Deborah Griffin, the president of the Gila River Gaming Enterprise, and the other board of directors, and the members of your team who've helped make this historic event a reality. Thank you for your efforts. Now, many of you may be wondering how an American Indian tribe from the des desert became so interested in ice hockey. And while I have to say that I am new to the sport, I have quickly become fascinated by the game. I have had the great pleasure of attending a coyote game and in watching the action. And I was struck by how similar the game is to one of our own traditional pastimes. They are both fast paced. The players require speed, skill, and good stick work. And the toughness and tenacity are rewarded. Of course, our game is called Thaka. It is played by the women of our community. I would invite you to come to our community to watch a game of Thaka. And I think you will recognize and appreciate its similarities as well. In closing, I am very honored to be here today to celebrate this important partnership with the Arizona Coyotes. It is a partnership that has grown over the years and beyond economy to en encompass charitable works to the Valley, programs for our youth and our boys and girls clubs, and support for our community. I am proud to be associated with Mr. LeBrock and his leadership group. I look forward to the continued growth and expansion of our partnership, and I join you in your efforts to bring the Stanley Cup to the Valley. <laughs> At a time where the national media attention and discourse involving professional sports and American Indians is focused on negative stereotypes, I am proud to stand with the Arizona Coyotes in forging a new innovative partnership that builds relationships and understanding of each of our communities. It is my hope that although this agreement is the first of its kind, in it not too distant future, we may see other American tribes enter into similar partnerships. So with that, may Heavenly Father bless you. May Heavenly Father bless the great state of Arizona. Thank you. At this time, I would like to introduce the president of the board of directors of Gila River Casinos, Ms. Deborah Griffin. Greetings. Um, there's no way I could even top those, uh, those speeches. Those are wonderful speeches, and we are honored to be here. Um, I just want to say thank you for joining Gila River Casinos for, you know, being here, we're just, we're honored, and I can't even say that enough because I think that it's really important that we did make this, this type of partnership. And with, with that, I'd like to first say, you know, um, thank you to all of the team that, that has helped us with this, including uh, Mr. Rob Rosette, um, Joe Rovix. Um, I just wanna say thank you so much for putting this together. And thank you to the board of directors, Lawrence Manuel, Allison Anderson, Pamela Johnson, uh, Kenneth Manuel, and of course, our, our acting CEO, Janice Ponciani, I couldn't say that enough, and um, our newest member, Rebecca Carpio. I would also like to uh, recognize a lot of our other dignitaries that are in the, the audience today, and that would be our council, Councilman Redbird from District 7, Councilman Anthony Villarreal from District 6, and Councilman Stone from District 5. As well, I would like to um, also recognize our governor, Gregory Mendoza, 
Lieutenant Governor Stephen Rowe Lewis, and of course, you know, if it weren't for them, we wouldn't have the support that we needed to fulfill this this partnership. And um, thank you, Jan Brewer, for um, Janice Brewer for being here as well. Thank you. It's very it's very nice to have you here, uh, Mr. LeBlanc. I want to say thank you as well for helping us put this together. And I just I just couldn't even say enough to to say how proud we are to be a part of this. Um, as far as as far as this partnership, it, it's something that um, it is very important to the Hill River Gaming Enterprises. You know, I think that you know one of the things that we need to keep in mind is that um, you know we we can't even say enough to be asked and honored to participate in this partnership. You know, we're one of the um, the only federally like federally recognized um, tribes in the state to have done this type of partnership, and I think that you know. From this, we, we can only say that, you know, we want to be number one and we'll always be number one in what we do. So again, thank you so much for everybody. I know it's hot out there and I, I see a lot of people that, you know, that are very happy to be here and proud of this. I think that, you know, it's, it's really something that um, we're proud of being. So thank you again. Appreciate it. Obviously, Gila River Arena sits in the great city of Glendale, and at this time I would like to uh, bring to the podium the mayor of the great city of Glendale, Mr. Jerry Wires. I, I think almost everybody's been introduced. There's a couple folks in the audience that haven't been, and uh, Mr. Robert Hyde, if you'd stand up real quickly. Uh, this shows how important this is. He's the uh, president of the Glendale Chamber of Commerce, and I think they understand the importance of this partnership. Uh, how it's going to benefit uh, the city of Glendale and its businesses. So thank you for being here. And then also uh, Mr. Ron Sykes. Ron, if you'd stand up. Uh, Ron Sykes is with Fighter Country Partnership. Very, very, very important man. Uh, works with our Luke Air Force Base group to make sure that uh, our, our, our Luke Air Force families are taken care of. Thank you for being here also, Ron. Uh, thank all of you for being here to help us celebrate this great occasion. Uh, I want to thank Arizona Coyotes for inviting me to speak on behalf of the city of Glendale, but I'd also like to thank all the dignitaries who have joined us here today. I'm not going to say their names because you've already heard them several times and I know everybody wants to go. Uh, this is a great day for Glendale, the Coyotes, and the Gila River Indian community. The naming of the arena, uh, by naming the arena, we're signifying a great partnership that exists between the city, the team, and the community. And I want to make uh, one thing clear is that regardless of the path that led us here today, as I stated in the past and I'll state again, I am committed, fully invested, committed to helping make this team a success in Glendale. The key to this success are the partnerships that we see here today. I am delighted that the Coyotes have found an arena sponsor that has such a strong history of the support for our community. Today represents another step forward for the Coyotes, the city of Glendale, and the Gila Indian community. I think maybe this will put to rest for all the folks in Canada that keep expecting this team to move to Canada. No, folks, they're staying here. They're staying here. Thank all of you for joining us here. Let's go, Yotes. All right, at this time, uh, we want to call out our uh, two Coyotes players, uh, Shane Doan and goaltender Mike Smith. Uh, please come to the stage uh, as we would uh, like to uh, present today's principals up here on stage with a Coyotes Hilo River Arena commemorative crystal gift. And it's uh, time for the unveiling of the Gila River Arena banner. So I want everybody to join in. Okay, I'm going to give a 10 count. 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> 